What's up folks, welcome to the Bass Family Outdoor Show. In this video, we have some amazing smallmouth bass fishing action while we were in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Marie Louise Lake, during a stopover at Sleeping Giant Provincial Park, during a road trip that we did in 2015 from Alberta to Ontario, using a Nissan Titan pulling a 17-foot travel trailer. I hope you enjoy the fishing footage. It's an HD. What kind of fish is it? Ooh, is it big? Okay, I'll get a net. Whoa, big fish, big bass. Dumbo bass. Okay, I'll try to. Let's see. No, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no, wait. No, get this. Oh, take it, take it, take it, Vito, take it. Oh my god, that one's... Leo, high five, you're so good. High five. No. Oh, yeah. That one's huge. Huh? Should I get the net now? No, no, you don't lift it, yo. Okay, here. Okay. This is funny. Yeah, this is funny. Look what daddy got. Daddy got a big fish. He got a big fish? Yeah. Mommy, there you Wow. Pick it up, pick it up. Lift it up, lift it up. Daddy, daddy needs a cutter, please. Give it to me, hon. Yo, put it up. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture. Ready? No, wait, wait. I didn't take a picture yet. Ready? Four pounds, yo. This one's four pounds. Okay, look. Let's take a picture. Wow. Wow. Look how big this one is. This one's four pounds for sure. Look at daddy. Look at daddy, Leo. Look at daddy. Turn around. Look at daddy. All right, folks, that's the end of the fishing footage. But before we end the video, I want to give you some tips on bass fishing. During our long road trips, I don't like to use any form of live bait. Instead, I rely on spinners, plastic baits, and crankbaits because it's much cleaner and easier to manage. Now, if you look here, I'm using a top water bait for smallmouth bass. I do this all the time, especially during morning and sunsets and it tends to produce really well. All you gotta do is cast it into calm water and drag it in slowly. Just make sure when you hook set, you do it when there's an actual fish. Otherwise, that lure is gonna come flying back at you. Alternatively, you can use a crankbait. For these crankbaits, the bigger the lip, the deeper they dive. So if you're in deep waters, you want one with a big lip so that it dives really deep as you crank in. If you're in shallow waters, you want one with a smaller lip. That way when you crank it in, it doesn't dive as deep. Now one general bait that's really effective are these spinner baits with the blades that spin as you reel in and reflect light. Fish tend to like it and attack them pretty ferociously. If the spinner isn't working, try adding a plastic grub or plastic worm at the end of the hook. That can make a world's difference, sometimes. Generally speaking, live bait does outproduce fake bait but with fake baits you get bigger fish normally 
because the small fishes can't even bite it, so it's really up to you. Both will work. Lastly, try to get a boat. If you don't have a truck to tow a boat or an SUV to tow a boat, you can always get an inflatable like this Sea Eagle 9. For us, it really was the only option because we are towing a travel trailer for this trip. We can't possibly pull a boat also. All I really need are two oars and an optional trolling motor and then I can do my thing and catch a lot of fish. On shore, you're quite limited in what fishing hotspots you can hit. But if you have a boat, you can get fish like this because you can move around freely. Keep in mind, an inflatable boat can fit in any car trunk. With that being said, that's the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed seeing us catch a lot of smallmouth bass. Check out that string! Insane sizes! Peace out!